Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Today we're going to try these temporary tattoos that were supposed to be for your skin um, on the nails and see how that works. I got these tattoos from Stream Cons a couple months ago and I like their designs a lot so I'm going to pick a few and place it on my nail. Right now I have a base coat from Zoya. This is the Naked Base and then two layers of Brucei uh, nail hardener in uh, Charlie and you could tell I have this bottle for a very long time uh, I shook it up uh, nicely but there's still some separation that you can see on the bottles and uh, no matter because it still looks really beautiful on my nails and then I have a uh, glossy seal top coat from Zoya ready to go I will Pick a couple of design here and I have a wet paper towel here because that's how it works with these tattoo to transfer it to your surface and for the instruction for this is supposed to be your skin but okay so I'm going to pick a few things that hopefully will go together I probably would do one or two fingers and not the whole thing so I think I'll try these triangles, but I'm going to put it closer to the cuticle and it will be like a half moon design. And I'll probably do that to my thumb. And these change design here is beautiful as well. Um, with my nails being round, maybe uh, the round one would be nice. Maybe goes directly vertically down the center of the nail. So I'm going to cut them out first. Yeah. Okay, so that's for my ring finger on the left hand. And I'll do, I don't want to do a, another straight vertical down, so I'll just do one of these around the cuticle. Hopefully I'm not going to mess it up with my cutting here. Looks like we're going to be okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to cut pretty close to the tattoo itself just so I know what's the placement of it. I don't have to uh, second guess myself when I place it on my nail. Okay, so that should be good. I'll just line it up like this with the, t the straight edge on the top. Let's make it straight. Okay, much better. Alright, I'm going to peel off the clear protective layer. Can you see that? Okay, now I'm going to put this to the center of my nail. Hopefully it will stay. Does that look center? I'm going to pull it to the left a little bit. Okay, that looks okay. And then I'm going to press the wet paper towel on top just to wet the paper and hopefully it will release the design onto my nails I might have to use a tweezer to pull off the paper okay I think it might be enough no I'm not trying to match my tweezer with my manicure here oh hey look that looks cool. Okay, so now that's a little wet, so I'm gonna dab it off with some extra paper towels. But that looks cool, don't you think? Nice. Okay, so let's, now that we know it works, let's do this to the ring finger. I'm going to make a skinnier cut so it's, we don't have to take too much to wet all the paper. Yay! And these skin tattoos are actually very in and probably in the summer you guys will see people wear this on their skin a lot too. Okay, so I'm peeling off that clear layer. Place it on my nails. I'm going to do the very top here because hopefully... Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's center. Hopefully that it is. I think so. Okay, wet the paper. We have a little bit of extra, but just to make sure, I'm going to peel the paper from the cuticle outward so the extra image is going to hang. 
Okay, maybe it's not wet enough yet. Okay. Now it's released on its own. Yay! Okay. That looks beautiful. The extra just kind of hang out and that's fine. We're just gonna... Let's see if I can just pull it off. Yep, it's kind of plasticky. Like a little film that you can just pull off the edge of your nails. But make sure it doesn't get stuck to your other nails. Hey guys, that looks really cool. So I don't know if I should do more, but maybe I'll just do the same design for the other hand. Uh, or maybe do another triangle here at the pointy fingers. Only appropriate, right? So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. At least we know it worked. Okay guys, so I'm back and I think... Oh, sorry. There's like little pieces of papers everywhere. I think I did even uh, better on the right hand here with the symmetry. Um, it seems like this ring finger is slightly shorter, so it's not a complete second circle there. <laughs> it actually looks like a pair of glasses. Um, yeah, but the triangle, I, I really like this, guys. It's very easy. It doesn't require you to do much of a handwork. And you get a symmetrical, uh, same for both hands type of design. So let's just put a top coat on and protect our design. And by the way, if you were to uh, dab away the excess water on the nails after you transfer the design on, Try not to use the one that has uh, lint. So I got a little bit of lint on that finger. Hopefully it will be uh, less visible when you put the top coat on. But that's something to keep in mind. Same with the wet paper towel. Use the one that, uh, that's not uh, linty. Just make things easier for us. So one thing I noticed though, the foil gets a little bit wrinkle upon contact with the top coat. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so if you don't like that look, maybe we're going to have to figure out uh, the type of top coat that doesn't do this. I know Janelle from, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I don't remember her channel name. Uh, she did a comparison between top coats that um, kind of change the texture of the foil and I think this is kind of the same way let's just focus here so that what it looks like closed up after the top coat which is still great and shiny I think all right what do you guys think thank you so much for watching and exploring nail art with me I will see you again soon. Have a beautiful day. Hey guys, so my nails are completely dry at this point and I just noticed something that I want to come back and share with you. Uh, as you could see with the top coat that I use, which is the glossy top coat from Zoya, um, it seems that the top coat took a little bit of the gold uh, on top of the tattoo and bring it down. You see a little bit of brown bring it down a little bit. It's a, it happens a lot less over here, probably depending on the pressure that I put onto the, um, like when I drag the brush through the tattoo. Other than that, everything looks great and it's nice and smooth, it's not too thick. But I imagine that if you were to have a white or any kind of light base color, um, this would affect how you view this. So earlier I mentioned that Janelle from Ellen Dish, that's the name of her channel, uh, I'll link her down below. She went through a couple of uh, different type of top coat that uh, were good or not good for um, metallic foil on the nail. And even though this is not the metallic foil and it seems that the tattoo did not get affected by um, by the top coat, maybe using the top coat that's good for the foil will be, um, you'll be able to avoid this type of problem happening as well. For my nails with this uh, dark green color, it's, it's not that noticeable, but I still want to share that with you guys. Okay guys, so I'll talk to you again soon for real. Talk to you later. Bye.